How's it going? It's Michael again, Tunet guys. Uh, I wanted to show you a little something cool I did a couple weeks ago. So, this is some perforated stainless steel. I got this from a local uh, metal shop called uh, Metal Mart. Um, you may have seen those, uh, those uh, bush pot racks designed to go in a bush pot. So you can have a little rack to bake things on. Uh, I didn't want to spend the money on buying a one of those I'm frugal so I went and I got a chunk of this and they cut it and I think this cost like I think less than 20 bucks for a big piece and I got a couple grills out of it so today it turns out you can have a fire here I called the uh, the uh, fire warden folks I can run up there and in this area there's a uh, open fire ban um, I'm like, I was confused, so he said, you can have a campfire, but you can't do any clearing. You can't clear property with big fires. Um, but you can have a small one for, for, for camping, for cooking. Cool. So, um, I mean, that little grill there is, it's tiny, right? It's just big enough. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a carnivore. One rib, one single small beef rib, but this is going to be lunch today. That chunk there probably cost me less than five bucks. No, when you take into account how much I pay for the big one, and then you, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's tiny. Uh, I mean, that fits like in a sleeve in your backpack. You don't need to bring a big grill with you, uh, or a big barbecue. If you got something like that, you go into a campsite where they have the fire rings, Bring your own small grill, plop it on top of theirs, it's clean, go to town. If you've noticed, there's a bit of a theme to these, these videos that I do. I am what I believe uh, is a very cost-effective person. I try and be frugal, thrifty. Uh, I'll spend money where I have to and where I need to, but if I don't have to spend the money on something, I'd rather not. I assume that a lot of people um, are like me. If you can find a less expensive way to do something and get the same results, why not? <laughs> you know, it's important. You want to use a good stainless steel. Nothing, no zinc coated, bladed, nothing cheap, nothing garbage. When you go to whatever you're going to to get your scrap metal, tell them what you're doing with it. I'm going to make a grill for you know grilling on. Okay, you want this gauge stainless. Cool. Um, they also have expanded uh, which you can Google expanded metal looks pretty cool. They were out of stock of that, and I think that that might warp over high heat too much. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how this does. Uh, well, that's it for now. I'm gonna grill up a little rib. Cut your own path.